Uh, this is the second video to God Shiva. Uh, in my comments section you mentioned on the Shell game, you mentioned uh, I'm starting to wonder whether the politics of, you know, the Western world can genuinely be reformed. I have to agree with you, mate. And I believe it's hard for us to reform politics because uh, two things. One, people aren't given the tools for uh, rational and rational and logical thinking. Uh, we're deluged with uh, crime stop, as uh, George Orwell would put it, uh, which is where you're taught cognitive dissonance and you're deluged with logical fallacies. And two, uh, we're not given consistency enough to make a coherent judgment on things. And that's one of the things human beings need. We need some kind of consistency. The only thing that's consistent is the fact that the system uh, doesn't do what's in our best interest. And it delays us from just basically replacing the unnecessary broken, uh, no longer working light bulbs of our society because it keeps saying, they'll work, they'll work, just give it a bit more juice. No. We aren't taught uh, trivium in schools, logic, grammar, rhetoric, looking at what people say, what they do, and what they think that inspires both. We aren't taught principles and morals, which I believe uh, every nation or every country, there is a difference, uh, should be taught and should follow if you don't follow your principles, well, it's impossible not to follow your principles. However, if you espouse one set of principles and follow another, eventually you wind up with a society that devolves into what we've got right now. We're taught, be honest, be hardworking, uh, be, you know, considerate to others. And what we are uh, asked to do then is to ignore those principles and just say, what's in it for me? Uh, do as someone else says for no good reason and uh, you know step over other people as soon as it's convenient when somebody once said uh, you can't use the master's tools to dismantle the master's house that obviously was not written by somebody who worked construction as uh, uh, Rob, uh, Derek Jensen once said no it was talking about a man who builds up his empire using lies and trickery and deception, he'll eventually fall to it. <sighs> Foolish man builds his house on the sand. That was my better quote. And lies always change. So, no, no, I don't see politics changing anytime soon until we resolve this fundamental dichotomy. We must follow the, we must espouse and follow, publicly follow the morality that we believe in. Even if there aren't many morals, even if it's just one singular idea, it must be talked about and believed in and followed. Until then, no. We're on shifting sands because the two things aren't lining up. So, yeah. By their fruits shall ye know them. You want to find out what someone's morality is? look at what they do. Anyway, mate, I hope this has given you some food for thought. It's good to see you and your daughter having fun, so, uh, yeah. We'll talk to you later, party.